All right, we are live with another Quick Tip Tuesday, each and every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Today's topic is tips to remodel your home. So this can go two ways. This can be if you're doing your own work or if you're hiring someone out. Uh, so the tip for both would be basically don't go the cheap route. Well, first, decide if you're doing it yourself or you're going to hire it out. Number one, I typically hire it out because when I try to do a big, bigger project than usual, I usually waste a lot of time figuring it out and then I'm still going to hire someone else. So I kind of wasted time and I'm wasting more money. Uh, for very, very small jobs, I'll give it a shot. Most of the time I can do it, but for some bigger projects, uh, I would definitely hire it out. Each person is different. Uh, if you have the time, energy, uh, and persistence of, of learning, YouTube University is great, but be careful on how far you go. Definitely, because you don't want to do a huge project and you don't take safety or any precautions to place and then you have issues later down the road and then you have to redo that same work you did. Is it doable? Yes, but just uh, at your own pace and, and be caution. So if you're going to hire someone, uh, don't be cheap. If you're going to do it yourself, don't be cheap. What I mean don't be cheap, uh, don't buy the cheapest materials, don't buy, don't get the cheapest contractor uh, because that doesn't last. You're going to have to redo it again soon. Um, cheapest contractor they're not gonna do a good job they will last longer uh, possibly longer not a good contractor basically you have to fire them and then get someone else to finish the job so don't go with the cheapest option uh, definitely get get multiple quotes uh, get references get pictures of their job speak to their references sometimes it may be a real person sometimes maybe family so just take that in consideration uh, ask around uh, your family, friends, if they had anyone that has done work for them before. Uh, if you're in Jersey or any states that I, I'm in, I work in, you can always reach out to me for any recommendations that I've, people that I've actually used and I trust. Uh, sometimes I don't like referring people out because just in case they're not going to do a good job. But if I use them before and I know their work, their work ethic, and their quality, then uh, I don't mind sharing that information. Uh, what else? Let's see. Make sure you're getting a good return on your investment. So if you're going to add a, a, if you're going to, let's say, flip a property or sell your property or, or something in regards to your property soon, then make sure that money you're putting in is worth the money that you're going to possibly get out either if you're going to sell the house or if you're going to rent the property out. So if you're going to do a fixer upper to rent it out, uh, maybe it's something else uh, than what you're gonna do for your primary residence. What you're gonna do for your primary residence. So definitely keep that in mind. You don't want to put, uh, depending on the area, you don't want to put certain uh, appliances, certain things that you won't get your money back. So definitely keep that in mind. You want to think about good ROI, return on your investment. Uh, maybe if you, you're getting a contractor, sometimes when they include the materials in the job, most of the time they're going to get cheap materials because, of course, the less money they spend, the more money they can keep. Not everyone's like that, but definitely keep that in mind. If you buy your own materials, you can select the materials, you have your budget for that. So there's pros and cons for both. Uh, have a budget, of course, especially now. I don't know who's on budget with construction, but try to have that type of budget. You don't want to just keep spending and keep spending and have an end goal in mind and a return on investment. Make sure you're putting money where it's supposed to be and you'll have some type of uh, good return. Usually with like rental properties, you definitely want to have some good floors. Remember, tenants going to... People are going to live in there and you know... If it's not their property, sometimes tenants don't really take care of it. They, they drag furniture and different things like a scrape and, and, and other things. So definitely keep that in mind. I'm not saying uh, stay away from tenants and, and owning property to rent it out, but 
keep that in mind, 100%. So, and if you're, let's see, if hiring out, be careful how much money you give out. So, yes. So, if you're hiring a contractor, be careful on how much money you give them up front. Uh, I, I've heard some horror stories regarding contractors running away with the money. Also, with that being said, see how much jobs they currently have. A lot of contractors like to bite too much that they can chew. They will definitely delay your project if they have so much going on. Uh, usually, contractors want a portion up front, depending how big the job is. You can do half, and then half when it's over, or a quarter, and as they do more stuff, you can pay them out. So just depending on how big the project is, uh, depending on how much money you want to give them. But be careful how much you give them, and make sure when you're giving them extra money for next portion, they, they actually did uh, a good amount of work. If you need permits on the house, definitely get that. Do everything by code because it can bite you in the ass later down the road. If you're gonna sell the property or, or mainly you're gonna sell it or any expect in inspections, they can call it out depending on the job. Not all uh, jobs will require a permit. Each town is different, of course, so know your town and know the area you're working in. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, to take care of the the uh, renovations, you can do a refinance, what is called the cash out refinance, pull some equity out of the home and do some repairs. Maybe fix your roof, maybe add another uh, bathroom, add more rooms, uh, redo your siding, uh, other things. So you can definitely do a cash out refinance to use that to fix up the house. Um, what else you can do? If you're gonna buy a house, you can do a construction on a 203K, uh, home style renovation for conventional. So there's a lot of different options if you own a home or you're going to buy a home. Those are typically for residential primary residents. So definitely keep that in mind. And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's, of course, I can, list can keep going on and on and tell you stories regarding renovation. But get ready for a roller coaster. Uh, like most stuff in real estate. Things can go up, things can go down. It can be a good week, can be a bad week. But be careful who you work with at the end of the day if you're going to hire out. And if you can do it yourself, be patient and get ready. Uh, if you have the energy and the time, go for it. But know when to quit and don't keep going. And basically, you're going to spend more money at the end. So just be careful with both. If you're a handyman, handy woman, go for it. And that's pretty much it for this week. If you have any questions or any topics for next week, let me know. Send me a message. All right. Have a good one, everyone.